Hey guys, it's Candy Banyas, and I am here for day two for the 30 day anime challenge. And day two is favorite anime you've watched so far. And if you guys know me very well, um, it is, of course, the one, the only, One Punch Man. I'm just fucking with you guys. I really, I don't hate it, but I don't like it a lot. But um, honestly, which is weird, like, my channel is really devoted to My Hero Academia and uh, reviewing old animes with a nostalgic filter. <clears throat> so, I guess, um, favorite anime you've I've watched so far would probably, and this is, like, just by a little bit, and I think maybe it's because it's uh, nostalgic to me, but is the original Dragon Ball, like, hands down, like, not Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball GT, like, the original Dragon Ball, and I'll explain it to you like this, I will forever have a love for Dragon Ball Z, it is, besides Gundam Wing, is the anime that really was like, ah, yeah, I love anime, like, dra Dragon Ball to me is basically what anime is today like without Dragon Ball you wouldn't have you know you wouldn't have uh, My Hero Academia, Naruto Fairy Tail uh, fucking you know Bleach One Piece like all these Kara guys were inspired by Son Goku and Akira Toriyama so I mean and it's not even uh, it's not even that like it's good power-ups or anything like that it's a great story like each story has a coherent arc you know what I mean like Goku doesn't need to always just get stronger like he does in Dragon Ball Z and I'm going to do a video with Naruto Shippuden and Naruto and Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and like do a comparison but to for the bare essentials of why I why Dragon Ball is the favorite anime I've watched so far is because it's got comedy, it's got humor, it's got heart, and it's got fucking badass fight scenes. Like go back if you haven't, go back and rewatch Jackie Chun versus Goku. Master Roshi is a badass. This is basically when Roshi was the strongest human before Goku. This was before Super Saiyan. This was before Kaioken. This was before Zenkai boosts. Like, this is Goku being able to lose and being like, oh, well, I guess I'll get stronger comparatively to, like, Dragon Ball now. Again, not going to get into it. Dragon Ball, to me, is because, like, it's my favorite anime so far, not just because of uh, all I've just said, but like, it's a re, it's a quote unquote retelling of the Journey to the West, so uh, it's about, uh, if you don't know, Journey to the West is about San Wukong, the Monkey King, uh, Goku is a great uh, reference to San Wukong because like, he is a goofy kid who uses a staff, who is just a martial artist, and he's an, I, a country bumpkin, like, that is Goku. So Dragon Ball's Dragon Ball is just it just just every time I watch it, I can rewatch it and just be like still be astonished and amazed even though it's 30 years old. That's the thing like plus it's got away with so much shit in the censors back in the day. But like um and to be fair like one episode particular it's a filler episode, and this is another thing. Like, their filler episodes feel like, you know, it could have been in the manga. So, one of the filler episodes I can always go back to is where Goku go ba goes back in time and meets Master young Master Roshi, who looks a lot like Bruce Lee. So, and he teaches, he learns how to, like, cut fire with ki and shit like that. Like, Dragon Ball is always going to have... A special spot in my heart like I reread the Dragon Ball manga and I still am entertained like I laugh every time for certain scenes like Bulma peeing from being scared of a pterodactyl like 
that was a weird reference, but like all those kind of scenes though, like they're funny still. They're still enjoyable. Like even the manga itself, if you look at it, it the way the actions move is very fluid. Like it looks like it's actually moving. If you like watch the the way the directional go, the directional sound effects go, it is just incredible. So um, yeah, Dragon Ball is the uh, anime I've loved so far.